Today I'm going to show you how to install or how to program a manual fan switch on this Freightliner 2018 Cascadia. This process is going to work with all Freightliners from 2017 up to 2023. Probably some of the features or some of the parameters that you have to change could vary on the name or display, but the process on how to do it is going to be the same. But also, if you see in this video, this video is part of a separate video than I did before about replacing the fan clutch. In that video, I was removing the fan clutch, then came from factory on this Freiner Cascadia, and I was installing a conventional on and off air activated fan clutch. This video is the continuation, basically the programming and setup wiring and all that then you have to do to do the full conversion of the cooling fan if you are interested only on the parameters then you have to change to activate the manual fan switch and you know the whole process on how to install a switch and the uh, components that you need you can skip this video and go to that you also have to do wiring and this wiring comes right from the plug, then comes from the um, engine harness. This plug right here is the one that controls the on and off activation of the fan. The pin number one and the pin number two are the one that control the power to the actual solenoid. So we have to do new lines because we had this old type of fan, so we have to do the new wiring, then has to activate this system. Also, the air lines got to be installed is we have easy access to pressure to air pressure from the truck directly to the solenoid and then the other one is just to run the line all the way to the fan clutch but once you have the wiring and the airlines completely hooked to all you have to do is do the programming but remember then this is something that you have to do after you install the switches so in the dashboard you have to come and install the switches here i have all the part numbers that you need to do the conversion if in case you need them so you want to install all these switches you want to place them together and you want to hook them to the modular switch field which is the big switch uh the big panel of switches on the dashboard and it's pretty simple you don't need special tools for this all you need is the right components the right parts to do it but once you have this completely done, all you have to do is come to the ECU. So we have we have to use the DDL software for this. And to do this process, we have to select the parameters that you can see on the screen. If you are only activating the manual switch, if you already have an on and off fan clutch, and you are only activating the switch because you bought the switch, you only have to change the parameters that are for the CPC and the sun cabin. The other parameters that are for the engine, the MCM, are only if you are changing the fan type. In this case, we're changing the, type, the fan type from a viscous type to an on and off fan clutch activation. That's the reason why we're changing this. But if you are only, remember this, if you are only changing the parameters so you can activate the switch on your dashboard just change the parameters on the cpc and the sun cabin and that'll be it once you do that simply you send the information to the ecu and it will just uh, reset everything then once you're done you have to turn off the ignition for a couple seconds probably 30 seconds 45 seconds will be enough once you do that you turn the mission bank on and you turn the fan on with the switch and it will turn on probably it will delay like one two seconds after you press the switch and if you turn it off it will delay around like 10 to 15 seconds to get off that's normal that's just don't get scared if you for example you press the switch and the fan gets activated and then you turn it off and it stays on for a longer time that's normal that's a ecu controller so the the ecu always keep the fan for a little longer so for any 
any reason to cool down more the temperature and all that. Um, but once you're done with the activation, with the switches and with the um, engine um, modification of the cooling fan, you are pretty much done. But it's very important then uh, if you are only activating the fan switch. If you are, let's say for example, your truck is already equipped with a, a regular on and off switch, I mean, a regular on and off fan clutch, um, and you come and you do the activation, you do the parameters, the CPC and the sun cap parameters, and um, after you do that, it's very important that you let the engine run until it gets completely warm, until the fan activates itself on, at maximum temperature. So in this case, these DD15 engines, they run around like 221 uh, Fahrenheit to activate the fan, and once they reach that, the fan is going to activate and it, go, it has to drop the temperature all the way down to 196, 194, depending. Sometimes it can go lower, sometimes it stays like 200. Depending on the programming, depending on the parameters, they are set to the computer. But that is something that you have to do after you do the programming of the switch. Don't just let the truck go. Make sure that the fan comes on and off, and also you have to do it with the AC too, because the fan has to be activated with the with the with the AC. So once you uh, get the fan switch, and if you do the conversion as well, um, you turn the engine on, you turn the AC on all the way, full blast, and then you're gonna see fan activating on and off. In these cascades, if the fan stays on all the time when you activate the AC is completely normal because when the engine when the truck is steady the fan gets activated and doesn't disengage until the vehicle is moving so don't uh, think that that is something that uh, is going to affect the truck or, or you did something wrong no that's completely normal so if you do the conversion or you did the fan the, the uh, manual fan switch activation and you see then the cooling fan, when the AC is on, is all the time on, that's normal. So you have to run the truck for the temperature to drop a little, and then the fan is going to deactivate. But this is the whole uh, explanation on how line to install a manual fan switch and do a conversion. So these things are only if you want to do it. It's not necessary then to do it. If you don't want to do this process, you don't have to. But it's important. If you don't, if you wonder where is the location of the manual fan switch, is this one right here? You keep it on and off. And if you don't have this this part over here, that's the reason why I gave you all the part numbers because I, I gave you the slot here, the covers, and the wiring that goes to this panel of switches here because this is the one that controls the power to these other switches here. That is going to make the installation so easy for you because you already have the part numbers. But anyway, this is all I have. If you have any questions um, about this video, just comment below. And if you didn't see my other video about installing the fan on these um, Cascadia, uh, you can uh, check my channel and you will see that video and uh, I, give, I have more videos there, but this video is mostly to show you how it's like to use the computer to change the parameters so the fan can activate on and off with the manual switch and with the computer. So, hope you like this video. And uh, if you're gonna see me directly, go to Instagram, look for me, Francisco Maya YouTube. You can see all the things that I'm doing. Uh, check my, uh, and uh, like my, Like, 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 like this video, share it, subscribe, and thank you for watching.